It's a vlog, y'all. I'm Coral, and this is a day in my life. It's a full house when I wake up. We've got three dogs and six cats, so the mornings are always dedicated to cuddles and kisses and then getting their breakfast ready. I never thought we'd have so many cats and dogs, but it's just ended up this way and I love having so many pets in the house. We also have two lizards, but I forgot to get footage of them, so whoops. Um, on with the day. After a cuddle o'clock, it's time to actually make the bed and get moving. I always make the bed because I do not want the pet hair under those blankets and in the sheets. It is my safe pet free space. <laughs> we head upstairs and by this time, most of the cats and dogs have realized it's breakfast time and started moving that way, but there might be some stragglers. If we can get like four or five cats out of all six eating at the same time, I'm pretty impressed. Once they're all sorted, it is finally dab o'clock for me. So I get my wake and bake on and might have someone join me or I might not, but eventually I end up in my little get ready area and I start with my hemp lotion and put my hair back if I'm gonna do any mascara and kind of get ready. Um, I use a few different mascaras. Uh, these are my favorites. I pretty much just layer a bunch of mascara on. Lately, I haven't really been doing any other makeup. My husband Mio at this time has been making coffee and he makes me a hot chocolate because I don't drink coffee. I love a fresh made hot cocoa in the morning. So once I have that in my system, I feel like I'm really awake and going. I'm obsessed with this hair tool. It's called the Beach Waver and it spins with just the push of a button. So it makes it look like I actually know how to crawl and do my hair. In reality, this tool and some tips from my hairstylist changed my whole life. Like not even gonna lie, changed my life. Scared and hair fluffed, I'm ready to actually go and join Mio for some more wake and bake. I almost always get a little bit of my wake and bake started before he does. He doesn't really like to wake up and just jump into smoking, but I'm ready for that first dab like instantly. So finally join him on the couch and we get our smoke on. We don't really share pieces, we just prefer different styles of pieces, so we always have our individual sesh kind of going on simultaneously. Um, this morning we are waking and baking on some mimosa. Mio actually did the art on the jar. At this point in the morning, it is time to check out the plants. I have about 100 house plants and I don't necessarily do a bunch of plant care every single day, but I do try and take a look at all of the plants every day and check if the pots are getting light, when they might be needing water soon, and also just double checking for any signs of pests or even damage from our own pets. <laughs> This morning, I'm not really seeing any plants that need to be watered or cared for in any particular way, so kind of just giving them a once-over look and getting on with the day. We don't go out every single morning for breakfast, but we do probably go out at least once a day and grab something to go. I don't cook a lot, and Mio is not going to cook three meals a day every day, and I love supporting restaurants, so that's where we're heading for breakfast this morning. Some days I would be waitressing at Zachary's. Right now it's takeout only, so we got our food to go and had a little picnic in the car. I grabbed a waffle, I love their waffles. Their potatoes are just perfect. The junior mess is like my go-to on the menu and then I cannot go to Zachary's without getting a piece of their coffee cake. I just, I just love it all. The drive home is our little outdoor adventure for the day. I really love this view. It's one of my favorites in Santa Cruz. You can just see the lighthouse as you come around the bend. It was actually in a Jordan Peele movie. I don't know if anyone recognizes it, um, but I just really love this curve in particular. Okay, so it's a day in my life vlog, but not every day looks the same. So today I'm sitting down and doing a Cricut craft, creating some Stony Sunday stickers that are gonna be available to the stream members. 
but other afternoons I might be answering emails, doing content creation work, like taking pictures or making and editing videos. I might be pitching to brands. I might even be melting glass. I'm so eager to get my shop set up again. It has been down for a couple of months now and it is just been eating away at me. I really want to melt glass again. Basically every day I try and create something either tangible or written or content related. I just love to create and continue to find ways to share. From the Stony Sunday stickers onto the Stony Sunday stream. It's time to get that all set up. I've been streaming every single Sunday for the Patreon Reapers for almost a year now and I love our Sunday sessions. The final session of the month every month is actually a Discord stream where we're all on camera and connect connecting. The pets are swarming by the time the stream is over because that's five o'clock and it's dinner time. We kind of let them eat a couple hours earlier than we generally eat dinner and if I have the energy I try and do something physical like a yoga routine. I got my feed up trainer as a Christmas gift and I've been using it pretty regularly in the month since. It has strengthened my yoga practice, given me the support as I'm doing my regular sun salutations, but also given me the chance to practice inversions like I never have before. This isn't even sponsored or anything like that, but honestly, if you've been considering getting a feet up trainer or an inversion chair, I can't recommend them enough. I was able to practice wheel pose like I haven't been able to in five years. Oh my God, it's fucking awesome. So after I work up a sweat and get bendy, I like to get super stoned, blow that all out and then jump into the bath. But um, you cannot join me for the bath. So I'll catch up with you for dinner. Somehow we skipped lunch, but I really wasn't that hungry after such a huge breakfast and then having so much to do all afternoon. For dinner, Mio decided to make his veggie tacos, which are one of my favorites of his dinner recipes. If you want the recipe, leave a comment down below because I'm trying to convince him to do a blog post with all of the details. It's super, super tasty. We don't have a dining table or a formal anywhere to eat dinner, so we almost always eat in the living room watching some delicious trash television. Right now, I am hooked on 90 Day Fiance in like the most cringiest way possible. A little more smoking and then it's on to some video games before we're both super tired. Lately, our go-to video game has been the Mario Kart Battles, playing Shine Thief, but we might spend some time playing Animal Crossing separately or whatever we want to do, basically. And then it's time for those bedtime bong hits. <sighs> this has been a stony Sunday, a day in my life. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I will be posting more regularly back on this YouTube channel, so I'd really appreciate you turning on notifications, telling your friends, letting everyone know I'm back, I'm getting stony with y'all, and well, for now, I'm gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching.